um, what should the United States be doing? And I then want to go back and quote uh, the, uh, the great hockey great, Wayne Gretzky, who when asked, um, you know, he's a skinny little guy, and uh, he wasn't, uh, you know, he was, he was arguably the best hockey player uh, in the game. I said, how come you were so good? And he said, well, I would skate to where the puck was going to be. I think the United States should skate to where the puck is going to be. Given that the price of oil and natural gas will go up, given the likelihood that we will realize um, uh, increasingly that we will be in a carbon constrained world, that why don't we start doing this today, start making the change today? Because it, it for example, the Department of Energy has been entrusted with an additional 39, roughly $39 billion over the next two years as part of the Economic Recovery Act. Just to put this in context, the budget of the FY 2009 budget was $25 billion. So it's $25 billion of normal budget and an additional $39 billion. There's an, there's an additional about $120 billion in loan guarantees that we are authorized uh, to spend, again, to stimulate um, the economy, but stimulate the economy towards an energy efficient economy in the form of weatherization, uh, an energy efficient economy in terms of advanced vehicles that will uh, begin to try to recapture some of the advanced technologies in the automotive industry to make our car companies competitive 20 years from now in this more constrained oil market. And so we that are also launching what is called ARPA-E. This is uh, modeled after DARPA. DARPA is, uh, um, is a Defense Department uh, way of funding very high risk but potentially transformative research. And so there is now 400 million for the first two years to launch that program in energy. We are also announced uh, the Energy Frontier Research uh, grant centers that are, are hitting many universities uh, and national labs. That around. It's not only the amount of money, uh, it's, it's how wisely it's invested. So and this what I am calling for, and this is less visible, is um, the quality of reviewers that in, in the Department of Energy on the applied section and in the uh, more basic parts to be some of the best reviewers that we can ha possibly have. I asked you and your colleagues if, if uh, you get a call to say we want you to help review these things, that it's very important that you step up to the plate. Um, it, we are going to be, re the kind of money I talked about is going to be requiring some several hundred reviewers in various programs, three or four hundred reviewers within the next six months.